Hey everyone, it's Ted again. So, after I posted a couple of teasers um, and a little bit about the fact that I had bought this Speedmaster individual throttle body downdraft intake for my Cobra replica over here, um, I got a whole lot of feedback asking for uh, opinions on what I think of it. So, I wanted to wait until I could um, actually take the bottom plenum off and uh, do a more thorough investigation. So, I guess I'll just start off by saying, initially I would say my impressions are, are really pretty positive. Um, this is a whole lot cheaper than pretty much any of the other individual throttle body options out there. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily as good as or better than, because uh, I haven't used any of the others, but it definitely seems... Uh, worth the money. Um, I paid $858. This is just for the manifold with the uh, throttle bodies and the uh, and the individual trumpets. And then I also spent another $117 or so on little individual k and filters. And let me just let me just show you that here. So these are the trumpets that come with it. And um, I bought these little drop-in k and filters. Um, you don't have to run air filtration, but if you don't, then you're running without an air filter. And so that's kind of what it looks like once you put it on. Um, I like air filters. I don't like rocks getting into my engine. Some people use screens, um, and that will keep the rocks out, but it, it definitely won't keep the, uh, the dust out. Um, I'll say regarding these little filters, obviously, even though they're pleated, your surface area is significantly smaller than you'd have with a normal air filter so uh, I expect to clean these a lot um, but that's okay I'm not going to be using the car a ton and um, that's cheap insurance versus uh, having the engine get a bunch of dirt in it so so back to the manifold um, I would say my impressions are really positive like I said uh, looking at the the throttle linkage you've got this nice center mounted um, you got the nice center mounted linkage and everything moves very smoothly and very evenly um, it appears to have all come pre-adjusted very nicely um, you've got little adjusters here at each of these uh, throttle bodies as well as um, for each bank of cylinders here so that you can try to make sure that they're synchronized um, I haven't had individual throttle bodies before on any of my cars, uh, but when uh, my previous life was working on V12 Jaguars, which used uh, a throttle body on each uh, on each bank of cylinders, um, you basically had two intake manifolds, one per bank. And if you didn't have those synced up right, they definitely it definitely contributed to running issues. So I would I would bet that um, it only gets that much worse when you get an individual throttle body for each cylinder. When you look at the machining on it, um, you know this is obviously a cast base with machining done to it. There's a couple of areas, don't think you can really see, but there were a couple of areas where I had to go through and just kind of pick off a couple of loose machining bits that clearly weren't done entirely properly. Um, and when I say that, the machining was done fine, it was just it wasn't cleaned up as well as I would have liked. Um, I'm going to flip it over in a minute and, see, and show you, but you've got these ports here, vacuum ports, and each one of these throttle bodies has about a, a quarter inch hole that feeds into a central plenum. So what's nice with that is that you got a little plenum that will give you um, a vacuum source for a manifold pressure gauge uh, for vacuum brakes if you're running those or any other vacuum kind of accessory. or um, as well as your uh, idle air control valve. So I'm running manual brakes, so I don't need anything for the vacuum brakes, obviously, but my expectation is I'm gonna put um, an idle air control valve over here, and then I'm gonna add in a uh, manifold pressure sensor there. So um, they offer versions that are polished and uh, look prettier, but they cost a lot more. Um, so I feel like they offer a good value for what you get, um, because, you know, they, they recognize that there's some people who want the, the performance and don't care as much about the look. You've also got this mount back here for your throttle position sensor. Um, you can see, see right there. 
So all that's, it, you know, they have this nicely provisioned. Um, I'll flip this over here. So I saw a, bit, a review on YouTube about one person who bought a Borla individual throttle body set up and they claimed that when they took the, the plenum off there was a whole bunch of shavings in there. So I kind of figured I'd take the, pl the plate off of the plenum and there's just a plate. You can see where the gasket goes. Um, and these are the little holes, like I said, about a quarter inch or so that feed into it. It's not a huge plenum, so you're still going to get that nice uh, individual um, throttle body kind of instant responsiveness because you look right up there, there's your butterfly right there, and your intake valve will come right about here. Um, I didn't find any shavings when I took the plenum off, so it was a good check to do, but ultimately not necessary. Um, there's a couple of little scratches here, like this This is the only one I'm kind of concerned about. It's, you can't even really feel it with your finger, but it is, you can see it, and it's between the, the uh, coolant passage here and the intake passage. So, um, but it feels like it should still seal up fine. Um, so I think everything should be good there. One thing to keep in mind if you do order this is that these center uh, holes here require that you use uh, intake studs. You can't fit a bolt down through here. So um, you can't just use bolts, at least on these center ones. You could on the outside ones if you wanted to. Uh, what I decided to do was I just went ahead and ordered a set of ARP intake manifold studs and I'm just going to do it all the same, keep it consistent. So overall I guess I'd give it a four star rating so far. Um, like I said, the, it, it could be cleaned up a little bit better, but I think for the price, you definitely get a good value. Um, it also comes with, uh, let me show you this here, if I can get this to work. So the kit also comes with um, fuel rails. Uh, I'm doing my, I'm doing kind of black and red as my colors, so uh, blues the wrong color for that but that's fine I'll live with it and it also comes with the fittings for the fuel rails and a crossover little crossover hose um, I haven't checked but these look like they're dash sixes and I think I think it said in the ad that's what they are so comes with everything you need to mount up, mount up the fuel injectors it doesn't come with fuel injectors you have to buy what you want uh, depending on what kind of power you're running in your engine so I got to order those injectors still and uh, put all that together but um, I'm going to wait on that until it gets uh, at least on the engine, maybe a little bit closer to in the engine. Uh, but really, I think for the price, it's a really complete kit. Uh, at this point, I would definitely say I would buy it again, but um, I'm still at the phase of having taken it out of the box, not putting it on the engine or, or driving it yet. So uh, once I get the whole thing together and driving a little bit, I'll do another video where I talk a bit more about the engine as a whole, the various decisions I've made, including this one, and what I would do again and what I would change. Um, so that's probably going to be a few months off, uh, at least. Depends on how quickly I get stuff done. But for the meantime, if you're thinking about this, there's there's nothing that I see now that makes me think I wish I hadn't bought this. Uh, everything everything I see so far makes me think, yep, this is exactly what I was expecting. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, I'll be posting more. See ya.